Today we are going to look at new Adobe XD feature which is plugins. So recently Adobe XD has uh, included plugins and you can install different third party plugins uh, to extend the capabilities of or features of Adobe XD. Now if you go to this menu uh, you can go to this plugins and if you want to discover new plugins you can go to this discover plugins and you will see a lot of plugins in this list. So if you want to search for any you can type over here this is color blender if you click on see details you will see what it actually does and you can hide that you can see these are different plugins now if you go down i am going to show you some of the plugins i really uh, tested this one i tested font preview it is a nice one but uh, it doesn't work that nicely because i have like thousands of um, fonts so it is not showing properly this one you can use change case so it is going to switch the case of your text to uh, capital uh, and all caps to small caps something like that then uh, i also tried this for inker 8 so it is actually to show the mayor the position and copy css and export icons of your uh, design and i think it is not that good okay so i'm going to show you the ones that i have installed so Try to install this lorem ipsum this is one of the good features you can use sample text by using this and uh, then i have installed this one content generator this is a good one uh, there was one ui faces something like that okay so yes this one ui faces guide guide is great one but i think they need some payment they have some premium plugin so i don't want to you know go into that Right now I just want free plugins. So I have installed few plugins. You can search and uh, install different plugins. If I go to install plugins, you can see I have all the plugins which I recently have installed. So one thing which uh, was missing from Adobe XD is that you cannot copy the CSS code, uh, which is for HTML and websites from your layers uh, or your um, artboards over here, okay? So this plugin actually does that. So I'm going to show you some of the samples from all these plugins. These are actually one, two, three, four, five, six plugins. Uh, I really found UI faces and lorem ipsum and copy to a uh, copy CSS to clipboard. I think you should really install these three at least. So these are really helpful. So let's start with this iPhone 678 artboard and I'm going to create an ellipse over here like this and now I'm going to go to my plugins and I'm going to go to this UI faces and you can see here we have source where you want to get the images from age male or female emotion hair color and randomize if you want to so I'm going to select this these are my settings I try to select tiny faces but they are not working so I use unsplash and pixels so if I select this, let's see if it is going to get me a black color, black hair, uh, woman or female. Let's see. So it gave me an error. Let's try something else. Um, let's remove this. Uh, just remo uh, move this. Uh, I'm going to select both of them, happiness and neutral. Just female, I'm going to remove the hair color. Maybe something is a problem with this one. So I'm going to apply faces and let's see what happens. So, okay, so we have successful, we have been successful. You can see it is filled with an avatar image and this is really helpful. Now I'm going to show you one more, um, which I think is really cool, press T. So I'm going to just sample paragraph and I'm going to leave it like this. Now I'm going to go to plugins and text text toolbox or if you want go to lorem ipsum you can use that too so the shortcut key is Control alt l so once you press this you can see it is going to show you some of the selections which type of lorem ipsum you want and with a period uh, include line breaks uh, so let's remove this trim text area height to fit inserted text so this is a very nice feature in it uh, because when we try to you know use a paragraph try to create a paragraph text in adobe xd it actually doesn't fit its text area so this is going to fix that so i'm going to insert text and very nicely it shows me this 
Now, if I want to select or fill any other paragraph, I can do the same with the same shortcut. So, sample, let's uh, control alt L and insert text. So you can see now I have filled this uh, second paragraph with some lorem ipsum text. So let's press again and fill it with this Cicero text. Okay, so these are different uh, plugins. I really love this one, lorem ipsum and this one. And um, let me show you one other. So for that, I'm going to create a shape with my pen tool. So something like this. Okay, so here I have a basic shape and I am going to use one color with it. Oh, oops, not the border, but the fill. I want the color to be something like this. And then I'm going to use another color. Let's uh, write these color down because we need to, you know, put them into uh, that plugin. Actually, so 7C E A d8 so this is the second one let's select the third color so this is e8 bd47 so now what i'm going to do is i'm just selecting this shape go to my plugins go to this confetti plugin and uh, let me show you what we can do over here. This is one color, add the second and third color over here and we are going to run this. So random illustration is going to rotate. Uh, you will see what it actually is going to do. So let's add the two colors we did written previously. Seven. Click on run and it created a very nice, this pattern, I really love it. So we are going to create a background, command G. Let's make it a bit like this. Move it below this. And you can see we have created a very nice background. Now for copying CSS, we are going to select this. Let's add some shadow. Let's add a bit of um, grayish border to it. And I am going to uh, make it this border five pixels so it is visible so now i'm going to right click on it we cannot uh, copy it the css like that so we are going to go to plugins and uh, copy css it's the shortcut key is shift Control alt and c uh, on mac i think it would be shift command option c so i'm going to copy css and i'm going to open up any notepad or anything like that so let's use this so I'm going to paste it over here and you can see it removed any junk code. So width, height, border and filter. So it is showing drop shadow. I'm not sure why it is showing filter. I think uh, it should be um, shadow feature. I'm not sure why it is showing this anyhow, but I think it is really cool. You can copy CSS from here. So guys, these are different plugins, which I really love. Uh, you can also check out this text toolbox. I think it is uh, actually the same. So that is all about different plugins. Try to uh, use different plugins um, from over here. I really recommend this copy CSS, lorem ipsum and UI faces. If you want to use this confetti, you can use that to create some backgrounds and patterns like these. It really randomize this and it really shifts different colors and all that stuff. So this, these are the plugins I really love. Uh, there are few more like uh, connecting with Trello and Microsoft and all that. I am not sure where they are actually. I think when you go to home, it shows you where it is add-ons. So if you go to add-ons, there are different app add-ons like, like Slack, uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, Trello. So these are different apps you can um, you know, these are different add-ons. Zeppelin, we already have covered these Zeppelins in my course. Uh, Protopy also, we have covered that too. So these are different things. Uh, these are different apps. Like you can see over here, Dropbox paper. You can use these add-ons too. So these are a bit different from 
a plugin so you can see at the top plugins ui kits and app integration so app integration is different plugins we just um, focused on in this lesson i hope you have enjoyed this lesson if you have any questions you can always ask me uh, see you soon in another video